Minecraft video for you guys. Today we're going to be looking at the 14W02B snapshots. Now this was released yesterday. Um, now, oh, now, um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say, but there is, you know, if you already know how to do it, it's getting good. Um, I, there will be a way to do, I will say down below how to do it. And it's pretty easy. So I already made a little map to show it off, so let's go ahead and go on. Yes, 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 I know. My game mode has been updated. Let's actually get rid of all my um, XP. For that. So, great. Um, so now, what we have is some awesome features for Avenger mode. So if I go ahead and click to this. Um, now, if you see that out of there, can break dirt. Now, you can actually make shovels break certain things in Avenger mode. They can make tools break certain things. See, I'm right now trying to break the glass and I can't. Okay? So I can't do anything. Now if I come to the gravel, it does nothing. Come to the dirt, oh look at that, I can break it. Because it can only break dirt, it says. So we gotta find the, um, we need to find something. A shovel that can break dirt and snow. This is what we need. Let's go ahead and go over here. So you can break the snow. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and clear my inventory because I don't need any of this. So um, now teleporting has been updated easily. Now, oh, behind, oh, whoa, whoa. What? What? I, I thought we didn't even teleport. I thought the button was broken. Well, I guess that's a new feature. So teleporting is now a lot smoother. As you saw, I did not jitter or anything. Now, um, if if you teleport lo like long ways, that will make you jitter. You have that like that crazy um glitch. So we got some new stone. We got anorite, diorite, and granite. I have no idea how to pronounce these two, but grant that's granite. So this is what you get. Find you find this randomly in the world, and then to craft the polish, you just need to do this. Now this works with every single one, and that's they're found randomly throughout the world. No Pacific levels. So let's go ahead and um, get the new one. And okay, I'm sorry. Uh, ooh, what's that? Whoa. So that was a slime ball, a block. I mean. So this is the slime block itself. Um, this is the crafting recipe for it, and it's pretty neat. You can, now you're you are slow on top of it, and when you and it makes you jump. I hit him the ceiling because it won't let me. So um, let's continue on. We got two. We got another new recipe. If we play two stone brick slabs like this, we get this, a chisel stone brick. Now you can make that before, but now you can. So now we got the mossy stone brick here. Here's the crafting recipe: a vine and then a stone brick, and you get that. So now let's move on to the villager new. Let's turn on to new villager trading. Villagers have been updated a lot. They got their whole entire village system has been revamped. So villagers are now named. So this is a shepherd, and they spawn with more than one trade, and they can unlock more than one trade upon trading, and it doesn't matter which one you do. So here's a fisherman. And even look the same, he unlocked three. You got a farmer, and then another shepherd. And these have the exactly same skins, but there's three different types here. So, and there's also new traits like the string here, and there's some more up ahead. Let's go ahead and teleport. Oh, oh. Whoa, where are we? Oh, we fell into an enchantment room. Um, so as you as you can tell, enchant as you probably think, enchantment has been updated a lot. The whole thing was revamped as well. So let's go ahead and get some emeralds and look at some more trading. So we got a cleric here. That's another one. You can get raw flesh for um, emeralds. So I went ahead and see here some ender pearls. And now lapis is here, and lapis is going to be much of a use. Um, and you also get XP for trading. Um, and we're also going to go ahead and grab some axes. There's a lot. <laughs> and let's go ahead and get ourselves some XP. So. Um, we come over here, and you can see he's got a new slot. That's where you put the lapis in. Now, depending on how much you put in, the more enchantments you get. And it's not working. That's weird. So, um, we got unbreaking, um, one a lapis, uh, one enchantment level, and you can, and, oh, level requirement. So, they apparently f changed this from the last I saw. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. It used to be one, two, and three. 
but I guess they reamped it. So you can um, chant. You can chant this here. Now it has a um, level of what you can get of one of the things you can get if you chant it. It promised me on breaking, and I got on breaking on it. So let's go ahead and do that again. Put one lapis in, and I'm breaking again. And of course, I got on breaking, and it's gonna be the same enchantments. See if we can get a new one. Oh, I don't have enough. Efficiency 2 would be on that. So let's go ahead and get some more XP for this. One more. There we go. Now, by doing this, you can actually get, like, of course, you can, like, customize your enchants. So, like, I saw I got efficiency 1. If I went to chant it there, I went and got the efficiency 2. So that's some new things. Go ahead and toss these out because I don't need them. And put these away. Also, um,. Now, I believe this no longer works, but it used to until this was revamped as well, like... Oops, I forgot to grab some of these. Things would co Anvils also costed very... didn't cost very much. But I guess that now... Oh, but still this. So it still does work. Um, apparently, if you repair something, you only get... It only costs 1 XP. And then be renaming it adds 1 more to it. So we can name it as Diamond Potato. Look at that. It only costs us 5 XP levels. That's pretty neat, and it does work with name tags. It only costs one, one XP level. Oh my gosh! And it also works with armor. Of course, I don't have the XP on me. So that's also some awesome new updates on it. And let's see, I can hold on to number one. And yeah, let's move on to some new features. So um, I have my chest potatoes, but I want to lock it. If I do, it plays the lo uh, chest sound, a door sound. I mean. And it says the chest is locked. And if I flick it on, I can get my potatoes. See my last potatoes? I'm going to put my one in here because I feel like it. There. Um, I'll show the commands afterwards. And also, second from final thing, entities. Now, entities have been, there's now a new um, at symbol. Let's go ahead and show it. At E. Now, that means all entities. So if I click this, you see the my card just flew up. Now basically what happened right there, break it out, I have used the at E symbol in the range of 3, so it will not affect me, and it teleports them up 1, it teleports them up to 4 blocks. So that means at the very top of this tower. And that's a new, this is the new um, at E symbol, so this will be used for like mine cards and stuff I think will be pretty neat. Now let's also get into the lock chest stuff, so you want to type in data block, whatever the chest is. And then this is the locket, so you put lock secret, and it's unlock it, you put lock colon nothing. And that's the same, there's a colon here before all this. So that's basically um, almost it, so let's hop in and go back in here. Go to options and peaceful. Now there's this little lock thing, you go ahead and click it, it says are you sure you want to lock the difficulty of this world. So you will be never to change it again if you do this. But you can lock it so when you lock in, you don't accidentally have mobs on from after playing a very really hard um, mob arena map. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the snapshot video. The, the way to download this, well, not download this, but to get the snapshots will be in the description. How to, um, yeah, look how big this map is. Uh, this literally took me forever, but it's worth it for you guys. So guys, thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!